Welcome to Feldenkrais with Taro Iwamoto. I am Taro and uh, today I will be guiding you through a short foot and toes mobility routine. And all you need for this routine is chair or you can do on the floor and obviously your foot <laughs> and, uh, and your attention. That's it. So let's get started. I'm going to do it in sitting in a chair because it's easier to show you, but you can Choose however you want to do it, sitting down on the floor, cross leg, or uh, sitting in a chair. Either way is fine. So let's, I'm going to start with my right foot. And I'm going to put my right ankle over my left thigh. And you can start with either one, but this is a really, really nice. And uh, to do barefoot, so no socks. With your left hand, you're going to grab all the toes except the big toe. Just lightly, you hold them, and then with your right hand, and you're going to hold your big toe. And very gently, if you have a stiff toes and foot, don't overstretch. Very gently, take your big toe and then gently move up and downward directions, up and word, upward and downward directions. Very gentle. It's not a stretching really. It just helps to mobilize the toe, individual toe. Okay, and then now, gently move your big toe apart from the second toe. It's opening, separating the toe, like that. Apart. So the distance between the big toe and second toe increases. Pretty gentle. And you make a little circle, clockwise and counterclockwise a few times. Then you notice that as you're moving your big toe, and also the bone further down here, okay? are also moving, obviously. So you can feel the movement, not just the toe, but the foot as well. Okay, so now, grab two toes, okay? The big toe, second toe with your right hand. Okay, and then hold other toes with your left hand. And then you do the same thing, moving these two toes this time up, and down without over stretching. Think moving. Okay, so think just mobilizing gently rather than stretching. When you think in terms of stretching, you think about really pulling the tissues apart. But when you think about mobilizing, you think about just gently moving. Okay, it's the movement that makes a difference. Mobilizing and sensing movement of your toes and then also your foot. Your foot moves, right? And then separate these two toes apart together, apart, together. And circle, clockwise. And counterclockwise. Okay, 
and in another toe. Grab the first three toes, big second, third toe, and hold with your right hand, and then hold the fourth and the fifth toe with your left hand. Same routine, moving these three toes up and down, up and down. Mobilizing these three toes and then also the foot because there are more bones in the foot. They all connect to the toes. Not stretching, simply just mobilizing them. And separate these three from the, the last two toes, part together, apart together, part together. And the circles, clockwise, smooth circle. Then go counterclockwise. And lastly, Grab first to the fourth toes with your right hand and then hold, grab a pinky toe with your left hand. Move the four toes up and down. And mobilizing the toes as well as your foot. And then apart together, separate them apart and together, apart together, gently. Creating a little more space between the pinky toe and the fourth toe, apart together. And lastly, circles clockwise. And counterclockwise. That's it. You mobilize all the toes and your foot of the right. And what would be very, very cool for you to, uh, to feel, you stand up, both feet barefoot, on the floor and the sensation of the right foot and the, all the toes of the right foot and compared to the left foot, you'll be surprised how two feet and toes right and the left feel different when you stand up. So if you like, you can take a moment and stand up and feel the sensation of your right foot and all the toes and compared to the left side. I see what it does and just a very gentle movement in mobilizing the individual toes and just and improving awareness and mobility and that changes the contact and that changes and the sensation and this is very important and at least for me um, because I think many people spend long hours every day in the shoes and in the socks, right? So the toes and the foot, ankle, they're all constricted. They don't really have a chance to sense and feel. They don't really get a lot of tactile feedback from the floor and they don't get a lot of movements and the awareness and the, the mobilities of the toes and the foot will will be compromised over time when you are not allowing your toes and foot to move freely. Very, very important. Okay, uh, I know only done right side and, and you can feel the difference and you can do the other side too. You probably want to do mobilize and you want the other foot to feel like the right foot now, right? So feel free to do that right now, but I'm gonna end today's video right here. I hope you enjoy this one. If you want to improve your back pain, be sure to grab your free movement guide to pain-free back at the link below.